We think with our brain, but can we move with it? Yes, we can. Welcome to the future. This is where the cutting-edge technology of the brain-computer interface, or BCI, is happening. According to Brainco, BCI is simple, or at least it looks easy. You wear a helmet; it reads into your brain, and then your brain controls everything. Clench my fist. Open. Then you can test your index. I put a index finger. Yeah. So it moves exactly as I wished. Yeah. Although this is not my hand. Yeah, because our organism has already learned, you know, your intention、mm. to move the, the the fingers. But the better way is that it can detect my brain signals. Exactly. And the, move. Yeah, that's for the amputees,、mm. so they can、uh, control this just by thinking.、Mm. Yeah. Hope to、uh, have this、uh, aspirationally in in a human patient、um, before the end of next year. His initial idea was to use the technology to address brain diseases and paralysis, but now the longer-term aim is to allow people to enhance their brain's capabilities through computing power. It is both terrific and terrifying. Awe-inspiring and awesome, but that is precisely why Han Bicheng and Elon Musk are tapping into this brave new world. The best minds on both sides of the Pacific are racing to move ahead. Mr. Han has a lab in Boston, a factory in Shenzhen, and his headquarters in Hangzhou, the city that is trying to become Asia's Silicon Valley. Now it is home to more than 400 AI projects and over 3,000 talents. So, how would you evaluate the cooperation of this kind,、uh, using talents from different areas、uh, to form a, a joint project?、Uh, actually, I think、uh, BMI is a very huge、uh, project. It needs the, the intelligence or the wisdom, you know, from the different group of people. First, men created machines. Then, men became machines in the early industrialization age. And now, it is a time when men and machines have become one. What Brinko and others are trying to do is not just to change the world we live in. It can also change who we are and what we can be. The most cutting-edge technologies are taking shape in a place. Where people dare to think and act. In terms of BCI, people might want to go one step further. With actual brains implants that directly link the human mind to the artificial intelligence of computers. Although that may still be too much of a leap for most of us. Let's talk about the potential of brain-machine interface.、Okay. Uh, Maybe the artificial limb of the smart prosthetics is just the beginning of、yes. how we can tap into our brains.、Yes. But how deep and how far will it go? And will it be someday that we cannot tell the difference between a man、uh-huh. and a machine? Yeah. When we learn English, if you know three thousand words, it's、uh, it's very easy for you to communicate with others. So I think the next step is people. Can send out, you know, as much、uh, signal as as possible, so it can form a new language to communicate with others directly by using their brain. So that will basically change how we humans communicate potentially in the future. Exactly. Actually, I'm thinking、uh, about this question differently. Right now, all the communication is neuron to muscle communication. So the BMI,、uh, the brain machine interface technology, is about to break this limitation for the human body.、Mm. So I can send out my signal directly to you, without the limitation of the muscle.、Mm. So basically, this is a totally new communication. Like the moment a million years ago when our ancestors stood up and found a new world with their hands, Homo sapiens today is stepping into uncharted territories of possibilities. Technologies open up new ways, and when there is a will, there is always another way.